Hey guys, this is Ben with Aqua Arizona Windsurfing Kiteboarding and Wing Foiling Association and welcome to the latest installment of the Wind Foiling Diary. And today we're going to be talking about the session that was March 2nd, 2024, my third wind surf foiling session of the season. And so the game plan coming in to today was to uh, force myself to get into that front foot strap. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to work. Because every time I have tried to get into that front foot strap, I always seem to kind of, uh, as you would imagine, sort of dip, dip, the, uh, dip the windward rail and uh, round, uh, round, things, uh, round things upwind and end up stalling out and so I was kind of like prepared for that uh, but that was the game plan I was I figured you know keep keep things simple don't even try to fly just try to get into the front foot strap and plane anyways that was the game plan it was basically a kind of um, a desperation gambit it was sort of like well what what do I really have to lose I mean the worst thing is is you know I kind of sort of learned to figure out getting into the front foot strap um, going to my uh, my regular side, and if it works, terrific. And if it doesn't, I'm I'm really no no worse off, right? Uh, and that was uh, pretty much the story of the day. Um, right uh, from the the onset, uh, as opposed to my previous attempts. Right from the onset, this time I um, uh, stuck my stuck my foot uh, right in the front foot strap. Uh, as opposed to kind of leaving it just ahead and nestled against, uh, or having my, the back of my ankle nestled against the, the foot strap, I got right in there. And surprisingly, um, it wasn't actually that bad. Uh, not only did I take off uh, smoothly, but it was easily the best flight I've had on the regular side uh, in quite some time. I mean, going back, I don't know, countless sessions to, to last season. And so uh, it was kind of cool. It was like instantaneous positive feedback. And I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, where, is, where has this been all my life? Um, and so it was so neat that like right away, uh, even though I had really only planned to do it on the on the uh, regular side, I I wanted to see what would happen if I did it on the uh, on my good side, my goofy side. And uh, while that was a little bit of an adjustment, it I just kind of you know kept it business as usual with how I get up. And uh, you know what do you know my um, my goofy side, my my good side flights were good as well. Uh, in fact, the, those goofy flights, uh, it kind of, I've felt I've kind of uh, maybe regressed a little bit on that side in the last couple sessions, or at least the first two sessions of the year to start. And um, instead, they were pretty much dominant and in control. Uh, they had their mo they got their mojo back, and I don't think, I think once or twice, just because I forget why, but I was like. You know, I'll just go back to, to staying outside the strap. Um, but that didn't last very long. <laughs> I just, I, it's just, uh, I, I, it was, it was seriously going, going um, my regular side, it was like a different person completely. Um, the foot straps are definitely the way to go. Uh, I see it now and... Um, what do you know? Maybe there is a reason why everybody says get in the foot straps right away. <laughs> I don't know if I really felt good, solid pressure in the mast like I did, like I do with winging, but I will say my flights just felt a lot, especially on the uh, my good side, my goofy side. They just felt like so much more in control and, and properly trimmed, and certainly uh, my regular flights. You know, uh, if, if it isn't clear by now, were just uh, the level of improvement on those regular direction flights was just massive. Now, uh, during the middle of the session, I did have a kind of a little bit of a hiccup where uh, I 
got a little maybe too 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 ahead of myself, a little too cocky, and I kind of reverted back to uh, to maybe some old um, to some old habits. And I had a, a you know during the middle of the session, I forget where. I had a couple, uh, you know, times where I just rounded, rounded up into the upwind too much, and and uh, while trying to take off or after just uh, releasing, and uh, you know, ended up um, uh, falling on my back under the sail and stuff like that. But um, you know, it was all in good fun. I was, I was a really, 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 really good session. Very successful session. Uh, after a little bit of regression. Um, the last session, the last installment, I really felt that I uh, took a took a major uh, step forward. Um, that I'm that much closer to uh, being able to just comfortably um, mow the lawn uh, in both directions. Uh, let's see what else I have to add. Um, so, I will say a little tidbit, you know, maybe uh, when I eventually do a tutorial on the subject, but what kind of helped me uh, get into the strap easily, and I just kind of sort of unconsciously did this, I think it, this experience of windsurf foiling now kind of helped, as, as maybe as well a little bit with winging, but um, a little sheet in, a little pump of the backhand uh, to power on, um, that helps with, uh, I think it does a, a few things. Number one, uh, by inputting that power, I think it helps to drive the nose down and drive the nose down wind some. And thirdly, I guess, uh, that little bit of, that little bit of sheet in, that quick little pulse or pump, I, I kind of almost use that to hang off of too, and it gives you a little bit of sort of weightlessness, and I take advantage of that weightlessness to slip my, my front foot in. And that worked really, really well, and then once that's in, um, sometimes if, you know, uh, you know, you kind of think a gust is coming, or you're kind of, maybe it's debatable whether you're gonna be able to take this one for a ride. If not, what I would uh, what I would do is is rather than just kind of immediately dropping to battle stations and moving my my leg uh, my my back foot all the way back to the the uh, the strap pad, what I would do and I mentioned this before I would kind of leave it very very close to my, where my front foot was in the strap, you know, but maybe kind of my arch my the 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 arch of my back foot kind of over the center line, but definitely more far forward than it would be if I was trying to attempt to take off and release, okay? And um, that helped laterally, that helped also to laterally trim the board and not um, drop the tail so much, okay? Let's see, what else? Uh, I did not, even though I have harness lines on my boom, I did not uh, wear a harness. Well, after today, I am completely gassed and uh, have to consider or start considering using uh, a harness and using the harness lines. I've been uh, kind of reluctant to wear a harness since the idea of hooking in while on foil uh, kind of weirds me out actually and uh, frankly I haven't needed it. Uh, my flights haven't been either that long or certainly that consistent. Also, my preferred impact vest, it doesn't really accommodate a uh, waist harness all that great, um, but I'm uh, definitely going to force myself to work on that, um, if anything, just to help out when off the foil. And finally, uh, while the uh, Neil Pride uh, Glide has been uh, everything that I had hoped it would be paired with this particular board, um, the top end speed hasn't been uh, all that I'd hoped. Uh, I thought the higher aspect uh, shape of it might offset the additional and very helpful surface area. But uh, now I'm uh, actually wondering what I could do if I went back to the uh, Fanatic Flowfoil uh, 1500. 
So uh, the next uh, strong day we have, like this one, I'm uh, definitely going to give it a shot. All right, and that is my windsurf foiling diary. Or as always, I thank you so much for uh, tuning in and watching as well as uh, your feedback and comments. And, and until next time, this is Ben with Aqua. As always, wishing you good winds and happy sailing. <laughs>